Hi, welcome to the Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff the Gamesplainer and today I'm Gamesplaining Terraforming Mars. In the game of Terraforming Mars, everyone is working together to terraform Mars, thus the title, um, to make it livable for human beings. Uh, but at the same time, we are working against each other to try and make the most money and benefit financially out of uh, that particular planet. It's super hot and has been for a little while. I'm putting this video out right now because it's been nominated for the um, Candice Bill de Jara, um, which is the, uh, the, the, the collectors or um, I can never remember the, the word and I'm sure someone's going to comment below with what it actually means. Um, but it's the Spiel des Jahres, the, the game of the year for in Germany. Uh, it's a really giant title. Um, the Kenda is for the um, for the collectors and it's for the, 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 the slightly more intricate games. Um, and this feels like the probably the heaviest um, game I've seen come through nominated for Kenda Spieljar for, for quite some time. So I'm really excited about that. It's super hot on, um, on Board Game Geek and everyone's been cram um, scrambling to get a copy of it and it's been out in print, out of print, in print, out of print and selling like hotcakes. And I believe the uh, third print run is just being released so everyone will be able to get a copy of it. Um, for if you haven't yet managed to get your hands on it um, and play it. So um, I, I, like, I like the game. It's a good game. It's a solid game. Um, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot going on. Um, I played this against my wife last night and we discovered something. She doesn't like games that have a heap of text on cards or that you've got to read each card. So if you've got a handful of 10 cards and you've got to work through each of them, that gets a little bit, a little bit hectic in the brain. So um, you've just got to be really careful of that. Um, there are ways to reduce the number of cards. And if you watch my playthrough, you'll actually see me go, I've got 10 cards here, but I actually only need to look at these three, four or five. Um, so there are ways to kind of manipulate that down to the usable amounts. It is, in essence, a tile placing game um, and an engine building game. So you've got these cards which will build your engine. You've got production levels of um, each of your resources. So you can move those production levels up and down depending on what cards you're using. Um, and then you'll get the product from that production level and you'll be able to use that in future turns. The... <clears throat> It, it, fairly standard stuff. Um, there are points on the cards that you've used, there's points on the board. Um, the placement of your tiles will give you points, so every city will give you a point, every, um, every green tile or greenery tile um, that's next to a city will give an extra point to that city, so one greenery tile could be surrounded by a couple of um, a couple of, of city tiles, um, maximum of three probably, and it will give each of those three cities one extra point for that single greenery tile. Having said that I really like the game, and, and honestly, the game actually plays relatively straightforward. You have a choice of a number of things you can do, and you do two, one or two of them, then you let the next person go. Once you pass, you can't come back in until the next round. Really straightforward and simple. But reading the rules, oh my goodness. I don't know what it is about this rule book that just makes it so difficult to wade through. Um, and honestly, this is... This is a game that's been produced by Stronghold Games. Stronghold are really putting out some good, good, solid games. Um, the other really solid game they've got out at the moment is um, Great Western Trail and, um, and, and Kanban. Uh, Kanban, sorry. They're, all three of them are from the same publisher. They're different designs, same publisher. But Great Western Trail, which I'll do a playthrough or a game explain for in probably in the next month or so, reads very simply and is really easy to understand. This is the phase, this is what you do, this is what happens. Terraforming Mars, my goodness. It's hard to get into, it's hard to read through. It feels like there's a page or two of just this fluff that kind of explains stuff, and if you don't read it, you're going to miss something, but getting through those couple of pages to get to what do I do in each phase, that seems really tricky. Um, and then once you're playing, to kind of find the the spot that you need, if there's a question mark, you go, Oh, okay, they'll be in here. Flick, flick, flick. Oh, um, oh, what do I have to read? Where's the things? They do have things highly, but it just seems scattered for want of a better expression. So, look, that, that's my only criticism of this game is that the rule book itself is quite tough to get into your head, and it took me a couple of goes to get my head around it. I haven't read anywhere someone else struggling with this rule book. I'm assuming people have, and I just haven't read it um, because I tend to not look at too many other people's opinions on games um, beyond looking at the hotness and what's this game kind of about, what's going on. Um, so if you've got the same struggles, I hope that my gamesplain will help you get this to the table and cut through the junk that's in that book. Um, if 
If you're from Stronghold Games, Stephen Bonacore, please have a look at your rule books. Have a look at what Great Western Trail does. Look at the other two. Make them like Great Western Trail, just as a standard. I think that publishers should have their hands more in those rule books um, and getting them to be easily read and easily understood, um, rather than just letting the uh, the the designer of the game go at it, which I think is what happens right now. I've got to assume that because there's a vast difference between the two rule books. Um, look, that's 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 my that's my that's my only gripe with this game. I really do enjoy this game. Um, there's some really solid play. The first I've the second video has me playing the first two turns, two or three turns, um, and you can see how that just kind of runs. It doesn't get into the into the actual building of, of, of this of this planet, the laying of tiles. It doesn't happen much in my playthrough because it's just the first few turns. What those first few turns are about is setting yourself up to be able to lay a heap of tiles in the future. Setting yourself up to have enough income to be able to lay heaps of tiles um, and to pay for them and to just keep everything growing and building. It is an engine building and building game. So what you're going to find is those last few turns, you're going to be laying as much stuff as physically possible. Um, the last turn, um, so we finished the generation where you um, have got the oxygen to the right level, the temperature to the right level and put out all nine of your water tiles, um, that signals the end of the game because Mars is then terraformed. We then have another chance, another opportunity in player order to use all of our um, extra plant tiles to get those extra points, kind of just grab those extra few points and I really like that about this game, I really like the last grab for points that happens in this one. Um, Look, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there. Um, I Go on and watch my game explanation, watch my playthrough, see if you can get your head around what's happening, see if you can understand what's happening. I hope it does help you better than the rulebook does. Uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please write them below. Subscribe to my videos to see what, um, to keep up to date with the games I'm game explaining. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see what games I'm playing. Um, if you've got any games that you wish to be game explained, shoot me, shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. And until next time, enjoy gaming.